happy Thanksgiving. I hope that you're having a wonderful day here in the States. We're celebrating Thanksgiving and I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I am so grateful for all the support I've received and I wanted to give you another update. Before I do, I'd love if you would subscribe, um, check out my other videos in this journey and you can hear about my process and I've got some exciting stuff coming to this channel that I'm excited to share soon. So please like and subscribe, that will really help me to be able to monetize and support myself. And so I wanna also give a shout out to my friends, Justine and Glenn, they gave me this beautiful giving heart. It's actually weighted, kind of like a weighted blanket. And I thought it was really sweet to begin with. But last Thursday or Wednesday, sorry, a week ago yesterday, I had surgery, had my lumpectomy and some lymph nodes um, taken out. And this pillow has been my lifesaver. It's like I said, it's weighted. So I've actually used it as compression um, to just support me in my physical recovery, but also emotionally, of course, and just um, used it uh, to hold it on me with a lot of pressure as I've had ice packs on me for the last week. I think yesterday might've been the first day I didn't have any ice packs. So as far as I know, surgery went great. Um, it's been six days now. I don't have any test results yet, so I'm still waiting. And honestly, I've just been really enjoying not knowing what's next in my treatment. I've just been enjoying, had the surgery, had cancer taken out of me, hoping for no cancer in those lymph nodes. Um, results will come soon, probably Monday or Tuesday. I have a post-op appointment next Wednesday. And um, yeah, so... Um, I'm so grateful to my parents. My mom and my stepdad housed me after surgery and waited on me. We had an early Thanksgiving with my sister's family and my daughter came over on Friday of last weekend. And um, I've just been really taken care of. I'm so grateful for the outpouring of support that I've received from everybody. And I'm starting to really realize that this is just the beginning of my journey. Um, the surgery was the first step. There's much more to come. Uh, one thing I think I might've shared with you is that I have osteopenia, penia, I can't seem to say that right, osteopenia, <laughs> um, which is not osteoporosis, which is good news, but it's not normal bone density. A um, little bit surprising for my age at 50, but also realized through some research that taking a lot of steroids as a child, which is what I did to stay alive with the life-threatening asthma that I had my first decade on this planet, is probably why um, I have that. And, uh, you know, of course, all the things they say to do to help it is to exercise, weight-bearing, eat healthy, take calcium, all the things I've been doing for 30 years as I've been uh, healthy focused on health and wellness. As you know, my health and wellness coach, yoga teacher, fitness professional, I used to be a personal trainer. So that's been my life. So I was a little disappointed and sad to hear when my osteopathic doctor messaged me and said, you know, we're gonna, I can't even tell you, it's like, it's a Z word. And um, it's one that's common that people who have cancer actually do. It's like an infusion um, through an IV. It's only once every six months for a couple years. Many people with cancer take it for different lengths, but that's a treatment that I will be adding to my list coming up. I don't know when that's coming. He just sent me a message letting me know that that'll be coming. And from some research that I did, it's also going to affect dental work. So I have a hole in my mouth. I had a tooth taken out and I haven't gotten that implant back in yet, um, just due to a lot of different reasons this last year. So um, yeah, just trying to not dive deeply into the signs and symptoms and side effects of everything. Some people say they have flu-like symptoms with this. There's a Z treatment for osteopenia. Um, but I'll get there when I get there. But I think that having the surgery made it real that I have breast cancer. Of course, it's been real all along, but it's been, um, you know, besides all the doctor's appointments, not a lot's changed. So this is, this is real. And uh, the interesting is that my recovery, hey buddy, nope, we're not going to do that. He's scratching on the door. My recovery is that it hasn't been, my breast has been great. It's been the armpit situation that's been a little bit harder because they cut right into an area where we're all moving a lot. So I'm standing like this a lot just to feel more comfortable. So 
Um, I mentioned in my last video, I started GoFundMe. I so appreciate all the support of everyone who's helped out. And um, so funny as I'm building my business, I learned about Mr. Beast. I don't know if you've heard of Mr. Beast, but he just got my juices rolling and, and really wanting to share more. He's basically um, one of the top YouTubers in the world, made the most money on YouTube and that's his living. And he's been giving away a lot of money. And I thought, you know what? What if I do something like that, but in a very health conscious way and try to make a real big difference in the world as far as consciousness, as far as health and wellness and really doing good. He's doing a lot of good. He's giving a lot of money away to charity and doing a lot of things, but it's very, it's clickbaity, which I get, you know, that's the world we live in. So, um, but he's just putting out a lot of, of really cool stuff. And I thought, how can I do that in a more holistic way? So um, maybe I'll share a link below and maybe you can brainstorm with me. I'd love to hear because I would love to be a millionaire, not just so that I can buy fancy stuff because that's not me, but that I can give back, that I can help, that I can support other people, just like people have been supporting me, create a foundation, help um, women and children, single moms like me who need that support and be able to give back. So that's really what's kind of driving me and moving me forward. And I hope that you join me, join me on this journey. So thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you're having a wonderful Thanksgiving if you're here in the US in the U.S. or a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. So thank you so much. Have a great moment. Namaste and play. This is Denver. Oh, he gave me some kisses. This is my dog nephew that I am getting to dog sit for these few days over Thanksgiving break, Tuesday through Sunday. He's given me lots of love. It's been really amazing as my sister's off traveling. So I'm enjoying my time with him. Can you say hi? Say hi, Denver. His name is Denver. He came from Belgium. So kind of getting back here and now they're back. Say bye.